guys, was so this is place the movie film and it's time for another episode review. This time I will be reviewing the Karsty Fury Emerald. So the episode basically begins with hot dog and Tintin tin walking around at a beautiful day. But they notice that there are people living near the garbage dump. Now hot dog thinks it's a fucking bad idea to live on a place like that. So he tells the people there that they shouldn't camp there. But as it turns out, they unfortunately have to live there since the laughs won't allow them to live on a better place. That is so fucking unfair. But anyway, before Hot Dog tells them that, there's a gypsy that predicts the future. Now Hot Dog of course doesn't believe in that stuff, but surprisingly enough, everything she said really does happen later on in the episode. When Hot Dog gets back to the mansion, they get a message from Bianca Casti Fury who tells them that she is on her way to the mansion. Now since Hot Dog absolutely fucking hates that woman, he decides to pack up and leave. Now Hot Dog does have legitimately good reasons for hating her, uh, as you can see later on in the episode. But unfortunately on his way upstairs, Hot Dog falls down the stairs. So he has to be in a wheelchair and deal with having her there, which is unfortunate. Casting Fury unfortunately arrives at the mansion shortly. And Casting Fury gives Captain Hot Dog something very special. He gives him a fucking awful parrot. And I mean really, that parrot that Casting Fury gave Hot Dog is so fucking annoying. Now Hot Dog should have told Casting Fury that he doesn't like that parrot. But he didn't want to be rude to her, which is understandable. But yeah, Hot Dog did not get along with that parrot at all. And quite frankly, I think Hot Dog should have gotten rid of that parrot as soon as fucking possible. Because it's clear that he isn't getting along with that parrot at all. But anyway, yeah. Castor Fury also tells Hot Dog that she doesn't want any reporters or anything like that to come on anywhere near her, which is understandable. But the people who previously lived at that garbage dump finally moved too close to Hot Dog's mansion so she gave them the permission. And I'm gonna have to say, that was so fucking nice of him to do. But later someone calls into Hot Dog's mansion and wants to have an interview with Casta Fury. And she takes the phone and says that he accepts the interview, which is strange considering the fact that she didn't want any interviews. But the reason why she was making an exception is because it's from a paper that she really fucking trusts. Yeah, that is pretty weird. There is no going around it. Anyway, during the middle of the night, Cassie Fury fucking screams. Apparently it's because she was having a nightmare. But Tintin has the feeling that it wasn't a nightmare, so he walks around the mansion and tries to look for something, but doesn't really find anything. But yeah, Castor Fury thought that someone stole her jewels, but her jewels are still where she put them, in a jewel case behind Travers. The next day, Hot Dog goes outside and talks to Calculus, who has very great roses. And as usual, Calculus mishears Hot Dog. And the fact that he keeps mishearing what people say is something that never fails to make me laugh. But now comes the legitimately good reasons for Hot Dog for, to hate Casty Fury. Casty Fury asks people to take a fucking photograph of him without his permission. Haddock never agreed on having a photograph with her on it. But Castle Fury does it regardless, what a con. And yeah, Haddock is on the front paper. 
which do us make him legitimately upset. Castor Fury should have talked to Captain Hartog about this before she went through with it. The fact that she just allowed others to take photo of her with Hartog without discussing with him first does really make that woman a fucking con. Yeah, there is no better way to describe it. Anyway, Hartog gets a call from somebody who wants to bring a TV crew to the mansion and Haddock says no but Castor Fury takes the phone and tells the person on the phone that she would love to have the TV crew there you fucking cunt this is Haddock's home he just said that he doesn't want any TV crew at the mansion but you do it regardless yeah Haddock has good reasons for hating that woman. Later on, while Castor Fury is being recorded, she starts singing, Oh, oh, yeah, you know, like that. And yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with Captain Haddock when he says that she really fucking sucks at singing. She does. But thankfully, the parrot did after all come in handy. Haddock's parrot did manage to ruin the show for Castor Fury, which I did find to be funny. Anyway, Thompson and Thompson arrive at the mansion because crime was reported. But apparently, as it turns out, she just misplaced the jewels and Thompson and Thompson feel like she just fucking wasted her time and rightfully so. But on the way back, they take a pillow instead of their hats and I'm gonna have to admit that is fucking funny. Yeah, their clumsiness never fails to make me laugh. But anyway, soon after, the valuable Castor Fury Emerald gets stolen. Now who the fuck could have stolen the Emerald? That is a mystery that's throughout the episode. So Thompson and Thompson arrive at the place and asks everyone if they know anything about the Emerald. Nestor tells him what happened and he wasn't the one who stole the Emerald, so he's off the hook. And then Irma is questioned. Now Thompson and Thompson do something that really makes them fucking dicks. They jump to the conclusion that she is the one who stole the Emerald. I know that they are police detectives and they are doing their jobs, but they shouldn't jump to fucking conclusions like that. And rightfully so, Irma attacks those two and gets upset. Yeah, they really should be more careful. And as it turns out, Professor Calculus is also innocent. Yeah, they get nothing out of him since his hearing abilities suck. Now, Tintin suggests that there could be someone from the outside. So, Thompson and Thompson jump to the conclusion that it's the fucking Gipsies that did it. And they find Irma's scissors at the gypsy camp. But Tintin and Haddock still think that they are fucking innocent. And you know what? I agree with them. I don't believe it's really them who did it. But if it isn't them, then who the hell did? Now Tintin notices Igor Wagner outside while the piano is still playing. Now Tintin suspects that he is the one who did it, so you know what he does? He goes to the room with the piano and notices that there's a fucking tape recorder there. But the reason why he did that was not because he is the one who stole the emerald. Instead, he did this because Castor Fury expects him to play the piano all day long. Without taking any breaks, just play the piano non-stop. I'm not surprised that he tried to fool her. I mean, who the fuck would want to play on a piano all day long? Yeah, that is a further proof that Casty Fury is a bit of a cunt. There are some good things about Casty Fury, I will admit. But the fact that she let Igor play the piano non-stop and the fact that she got hot dog into a newspaper without discussing it with him first are things that really does make her a cunt. And she is also very fucking sensitive. She complains about the fact that hot dog is swearing. Get the fuck over it lady. 
Swearing is not such a bad thing, though I am willing to admit, even though she does some countless things, I still do feel bad that she lost her emerald. I do. And I wanted to see her get that fucking emerald back. But soon after, Castle Fury leaves. And it's unfortunately not revealed yet who the jewel thief is. But Hinton makes a fucking awesome discovery after Kirsty Fury leaves. He makes the discovery that there is a bird that took the emerald and put the emerald to its nest. Yeah, a fucking bird. Now I'm going to have to admit that is a fucking awesome twist. I never expected a fucking bird to be the one who stole the emerald. But there is one thing about that does that make sense, which I do have a problem with. The emerald was hidden in a fucking jewel case behind drivers. How the hell did a fucking bird manage to take jewelry from there? That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, and I personally think that's stupid. But other than that, yeah. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. In this episode, I can clearly see that Captain Haddock does have legitimately good reasons for hating Castle Fury. And it's not because of the fact that her singing so. And at the top of that, this is a fucking great episode about a mystery. And who that jewel thief really is, is the most amazing part about the episode because it's so fucking unexpected you know what i fucking love this episode i really do and for that i'm going to give it two thumbs up well guys that's all i've got to say thank you for watching the great day